We have three messages this week. We are going to talk about US interest rates. We're going to cover off performance in our portfolios in April. And we're going to talk about a trade that we did in our portfolios last week. As expected, the US Federal Reserve kept interest rates on hold at their May meeting. Now, the economic backdrop is solid, albeit not spectacular, and the market is focused on a June rate rise. But let's take a step back and have a look at the big picture. The Federal Reserve is taking back very easy monetary policy that was put into place in the years following the global financial crisis. The Federal Reserve is not dampening the fever of an overheated economy. If you look at inflation running at 2.5%, real US yields are negative to flat. And similarly in the UK, gilt yields are still negative in a real sense. Hence, we still think that government valuations are expensive and we remain comfortable with our underweight allocation in the portfolio. In terms of performance, April was a broadly flat month for a typical balanced portfolio. This compares to the FTSE 100, which is down 1.3%, and gilts, which were up about a half percentage point. So that takes the year-to-date number for a balanced portfolio to around the 3.5% mark. During the month, Portfolios and strategies that were heavy in credit fixed income, so mostly defensive portfolios, did relatively well. Emerging market debt and financial credit outpaced gilts. With inequities, Europe was supported by an improving economy and very good earnings. And it gained ground against its global peers following the first round of the French presidential elections. We have done a trade in portfolios where we are taking our energy infrastructure theme from dollars into sterling. Now, we access that energy infrastructure theme via something called Master Limited Partnerships, or MLPs. It's a slightly unwieldy name, but MLPs are essentially American pipeline companies that carry oil and gas across the country. So it's a US sector that pays an attractive dividend yield of about 6%. In this trade, we are moving from an index solution to an active fund manager, the PIMCO MLP Fund. They are experienced managers in this space and they invest in the quality pipeline companies. For sterling portfolios, we are buying the sterling hedge share class, locking in currency gains and returning to sterling. As you know, we believe that sterling is cheap and we are progressively doing this in portfolios as appropriate.